Hello beautiful souls, I'm Sai and welcome to your Libra Tarot reading. We'll dive into your person's energy, feelings, intentions and possible outcomes ahead. So moving to October now, let's see what the next 10 to 15 days have in store for you. So starting with your overall energy, what's currently going on? We start with the 10 of Pentacles. Libra, as you move to October, the 10 of Pentacles shows your focus is on your financial growth and long-term stability. Okay, you are seeking connections that are going to promise you security, success and a future. Okay, you will find yourself in a happy, stable relationship soon that aligns with your goals. So you're aiming big. Okay, that is you're striving for a lot of financial success emotional fulfillment and overall i would say abundance you really want to find yourself in a stable situation and build for the future moving forward what else do we have we have page of phones recently many of you guys could also be either communicating or waiting for communication okay you are eagerly looking forward to communicate with this person the one you have in mind for selected few of you you have started talking to someone recently Moving to current situation for Libra, we have the four of swords in the reverse which suggests that you are feeling restless or mentally overwhelmed, possibly burnt out. Okay, Mentally, you may be struggling to find peace and clarity, pushing yourself too hard without giving yourself proper rest. This could be work or relationship. Okay, You definitely have unresolved issues that you, you've been avoiding and uh, now they are coming up or, or they will come up. Okay, You're likely feeling a need to act and it's essential to reflect and not rush decisions around this time. Okay, Your feel, uh, focus is like slightly scattered around this time. Also, we have the King of Cups. Your primary going to be focused on self-healing and emotional balance. While you desire love, you're choosing to give yourself uh, the priority and you're choosing to nourish yourself first okay you're no longer wanting to give love freely to just anyone you're becoming highly selective about who receives your energy or you will be and you've learned from your past experiences and won't allow yourself to drain again okay with the queen of swords you're going to be making very practical decisions and your approach is now mature uh, but cautious at the same time but you'll protect your emotional well-being above all Libra, with the Queen of Swords here, your challenge may still lie being emotionally detached and making decisions solely based on logic. So yes, that might still bother you. What's getting in the way? With the Wheel of Fortune, I think bad luck or unexpected setbacks are affecting your progress, leaving you feeling stuck in a cycle of misfortune. Also, you're waiting for the wheel to turn. You're holding on to that hope that better times are coming, but it feels like the change you're longing for is just out of reach at the moment. With the Eight of Swords, you're still stuck. Like when, whenever you think about them, you feel very tied down to their thoughts. You know, you aren't able to escape. Even though you want to, you aren't able to escape. And how is that you feel about them? With the Ace of Cups, you still have a lot of love for them. Okay, regardless of what you tell me or regardless of what your ego tells me, I think you're madly in love with this person. Okay, so far, moving forward in terms of where, how are things going to play out. For most of you, you will end up in a relationship as you move towards your birthday month. I definitely feel most of you guys with the page of phones at the start and two of cups as your a near outcome, you should be finding yourself in a new connection. Uh, if it's someone who um, you've been thinking about, I think if it's healthy, yes, you will be uh, together with them. If that's a toxic shit, you might come across someone better. Okay, in terms of the person on your mind, who is this person? This is someone who's keeping you waiting, okay? The journey continues, I believe. Uh, this is someone who is also a very, you know, like someone who moves in very slowly. You know, even though they may have intentions of being with you, they tend to take their own sweet time. Okay. One more card for the current situation that you find yourself in. With the Eight of Cups, you both are finding it extremely difficult to walk away from each other. Despite the emotional detachment, you guys both miss each other. This person is thinking about you but not showing up. Uh, but I think there's a gap between the two of you. Okay, Right now, they are maintaining some emotional distance. And most of you, it feels like you aren't on the best of terms. 
with the five of cups here in terms of what they are focused on i think this person is rather focused on how much they are missing you how much they are longing for you rather than acting on it they are just in that thinking phase and missing phase also with the two of swords here your person is focused on making a decision they do miss you even though they are uh, been maintaining this distance uh, despite the emotional gap they don't want to stay away for long and are torn between their feelings and actions at the moment okay they just seem very very confused they seem extremely reserved with five of cups they are missing the hell out of you but there seems to be some sort of misunderstanding with the two of swords that you might not be accepting but there has been some sort of misunderstanding here their feelings for you is a 10 of cups they can't imagine their life without you libra okay their feelings for you are deeply strong and emotional leaving uh, the both of you drained if you guys are not together they are constantly thinking about you okay they don't want to give up on you and they are always mixed you know, when they are with you they are overjoyed and when they are without you they are extremely depressed and now they are very much a emotional mess they truly desire a future with you and a life by your side so much love then why the delay we have the high priestess in the reverse um i think it is indicating that they are not listening to their intuition and maybe struggling with self doubt okay there is a lack of inner guidance that is causing them to feel weak and uncertain with the 3 of swords they are just very fearful of rejection preventing them from taking decisive action I think you guys could have had a misunderstanding in the recent past for some of you this could be as recent as 5 days 5 weeks you know this person could have come over and then things went cold how is that this person sees you at this moment this person sees you as someone who who doesn't want to talk to them as someone who is holding back as someone who's choosing not to be a part of them one more card for how is that this person views you Yeah, they view you as someone who's having their guards up, someone who has taken a strong stand, someone who has clear-cut boundaries. In terms of what's that they truly have for you, and what's that they truly want with you. Despite all the drama, this person has Ace of Wands for you. That signifies a powerful passion and desire. They are unable to stay away from you, and regardless the distance, their feelings for you run deep. okay uh this person genuinely wants to start over and start fresh okay driven by this intense attraction and enthusiasm for this connection okay even though they have all this with you they are choosing to still mess it up somehow like sabotage it because of their fears or whatever okay one more card what do they truly want at the moment we have the world card uh it indicates a desire for completion fulfillment and they wish to have it all with you okay that could be emotional satisfaction see libra i'm going to be very honest with you regardless whether you want to believe me or not future action has suggested this person won't be able to stay away from you for long indicating a return to your life with the queen of cups they will make a heartfelt emotional gesture that will uh, reaffirm their feelings for you and you can expect them to express their emotions in the most meaningful and a profound way possible okay showing you how deeply they truly love you this person with the 6 of swords in the reverse has decided not to wait any longer and face the situation okay in the recent past in the recent past this person did not want a commitment this person did not want anything to do with religious norms or having a solid relationship nothing they just wanted to have you on their terms then what changed what triggered the change what triggered the change is six of wands and ace of pentacles they have realized through the drama that what they have with you is something that they will not be able to replace okay secondly with the six of wands here this person uh, surely believes that you're on the lookout for something better so they do not want to lose this opportunity meanwhile waiting and messing it up for them Okay, moving forward to what's next in love for you in this situation. I think for most of you with the page of pentacles in the reverse, you're really frustrated. Reason being, this person isn't showing up. Now, even though you've been watching readings and you've been going back and forth, and you're like, dude, but what oh, is my person up to? Like, why are they not taking action? Okay, some of you guys might even be blocked. 
see communication is something i can guarantee you now as you know i'm not going to sugarcoat tarot readings will not resonate with each and every one it's a general spread it should relate to at least 60 70 percent for many of you who are aware that they have something and it can be something more i think you guys should expect communication so moving on to the best case scenario as libra approaches uh, october as as we move forward the next four days Empress reverse suggests there could be delays in emotional expression and nurturing within the relationship. While this might not signify a bad final outcome, it indicates that both partners may struggle to openly share their feelings, leading to potential misunderstandings. Okay, um, for you, communication will be key. So taking steps to express your emotions that will still be an issue for some of you. Being together, finding each other, that is very much possible in the next six days. Okay, now moving on to what's their major focus? What's your person really, really focused on? Your person at the moment is really focused on manifesting you, thinking about you, visualizing you. One more card. With the Ace of Swords, yes, they do want to communicate. They do want to be real. Uh, all sorts of cards here. All sorts of Aces here, which does suggest new start, new beginning. Most of you around your birthday month will be blessed with a relationship. Okay, so if you could be kind enough and consider hitting that like button, if that's uh, not much to ask for. And uh, all those who believe, I would ask you to visualize and type in 222 for togetherness. And so far, if this reading has resonated, I do see your birthday month going really well, especially those who are born in October um yeah so now moving forward what's the challenge why were they holding back why were they be, uh, being so difficult i think with the tower card this person did go through a reality check they were stalking you like crazy they thought that you're going to chase you're going to melt you're going to come over that did not happen okay what's the reality of the situation what's the truth that my dear libras need to know about the truth Libra needs to know about is, darling, through this relationship, you have been drained out. I wish I could use the F word, but I can't. Moving forward. One more card. This has been very demanding on you. With Page of Cups, uh, despite you feeling so strongly for this person, you hardly got 30-40% from this connection. Okay. Some of you, I see you guys... Um, almost very close to conceiving for those who are ready to have a child with this person i see some good news coming your way especially around end of um, october and early november okay moving further how is that this person sees the situation and what changes do they want this person sees the situation as something that is almost at crossroads something that is left for the bushes that is your person feels that you have abandoned them and um, sensing that you've pushed them away or become indifferent to their presence okay this perception of emotional distance is definitely weighing on their heart at this moment and what is that they truly want with this connection with the uh, the king of wands they want to take action they want to be intentional spirits please do tell me where do libras go from here with the Hermit card, I think many of you guys have taken a step back in order to reflect, in order to think about where you stand in this connection. Some of you guys might also be going for external guidance. That could be tarot readings, horoscope. Could also be talking to your elder sibling. Could also be a parent or someone you trust. But you want to discuss uh, in terms of what you need to do next. Okay. One more card for those who are really struggling in their relationship. The reality check they need to know about. With Seven of Swords, see, it's simple as the Seven of Swords. If you feel you're in a relationship that's rather going to hurt you, rather going to affect you than give you anything, then darling, it's time for you to make a solid decision. For some of you, your own fears may still blind you to this connection, even as your mind may urge you to seek clarity and truth. It's important at the moment that you acknowledge this conflicting feelings as they cloud your judgment and hinder your progress. One card of advice for my dear Libras. 
one kind of advice for my dear libras until this person apologizes and they are willing to change themselves giving you a lot different than what they were they are being respectful towards you this person doesn't deserve you until they do all that okay in terms of the near outcome where do we go from here near outcome for most of you if you're expecting the next three days it still looks shabby i won't give you false promises moving on to the next one week moving on to the next one week you can expect a chase from this person moving on to the next 10 days we have the chariot i see things going really well moving on to the next 15 days we have the justice so you will get the due respect for most of you this could be a restart as well where you guys are starting on a very good note overall outcome knight of pentacles uh, it sets a steady progress in your relationship this person wants to hold on to you and take things slowly definitely trying to prioritize stability and commitment as they build a solid foundation for the future together yes they have their own fears of rejection but i do not see that getting in the way much i think around this time you can also expect some bit of a romantic gesture or a gift around your birthday okay so they look forward to be on harmonious terms with you major intentions versus what is that you can expect the major intention for now is to look forward to you versus what is that you can really expect See, for most of you, I think with the nine of cups and the two of pentacles, after a long time waiting, this person is finally deciding on you. You are moving in the right direction. So I don't see you being single, especially in the month of October. Now, moving on to some tough messages. I wrote this myself. And God bless you if you even understand my handwriting. But yeah. So do you still think about me? I'm missing you. That's the first message. Being with you was so exciting, like there was never a dull moment, you were very unpredictable. We have... In the past, I, I only came for you for healing, please fix me temporary. And moving f later, uh, you and I were so different, I did not know how it would work out ditching. This person kept dropping you, kept avoiding you. I was too stubborn, I admit I was wrong and i want to make more memories with you that is this person is coming over okay so far if this reading has resonated you know exactly what to do for all those who want a personal reading like you want want one or uh, you can definitely consider going to um like coming over via email or you could come over via whatsapp i'm moving on to libra's dealing with other signs so moving on to Libra dealing with air sign, how are things going to go overall situation? We start off with the eight of pentacles. Lately, you've been just focusing on your finances, your career. You're just being uh, focused on what really matters to you. How is your person approaching you? With the queen of wands, there is someone who is deeply interested in you. With the queen of wands, they have some solid intentions and I do see them taking action. Their current feelings. Their feelings for you are way intense than they have ever accepted. Okay, it, like it is like they they can't really stop thinking about you and how are things gonna go. For most of you, you will be able to figure this relationship out as you move towards the eighth, or even you could say the early, or uh, the early week of the month. Okay, for most of you, you guys will be back on good communication. What's affecting this relationship that you need to be aware of? I think the distance could be getting in the way if if not the distance the emotional distance okay so far if this reading has resonated i'd ask you to hit that like button and do type in 333 to cut off whatever that is getting in the way thank you so much so moving on to leave that with water sign what's going on at the moment many of you guys are very aware of your worth this person was very essential for you know you guys to realize who you were what you were okay uh, now that you are aware of your worth i do not see you wanting to compromise for anyone one more card in terms of how is that this person is approaching you someone definitely wants to get married with you or have a family with you they see you as someone they want for life okay one more card for your major feelings their feelings for you around this time is uh, like they they want this okay and it's it's more from a safety point as well i mean practically also you guys quite fit together 
uh, I, I see this person already visualizing what life would be like with you. You guys could have known this person for long, some of you. Uh, it could be as long as three years or some of you it could be as short as three months. Okay, moving further, our thing's gonna go. With the page of pentacles, I see this person being around you. With page of pentacles, it can also mean this person will want to send in an early birthday gift for you. For most of you, this person, if at all they have been at a distance, they will start putting in way more effort. So that being said, this is all I have for you. You can type in 444 for stability and do a like the video if it resonates. Thank you. So moving further to Libra dealing with fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. At the current moment, I see you being in a good uh, energy, good spirit. I feel many of you guys will also be getting in all that you really uh, been looking forward to. I see a lot of wish fulfillment that could be you getting your dream job or you just getting in that recognition at your workplace or you just feeling very loved by your people. Okay, some of you guys might be very excited about your birthday month. Moving further, how is your person approaching? Your person is like obsessed with you. Okay, how have they been acting? See, with the Empress card, uh, this person is definitely wanting to save themselves for you. They are not willing to let this go. Regardless of what's going going on, this person has figured out in their head that they want to end up with you. Like they want to have a family with you or be your child's mother or father. Okay. One more card in terms of how are things going so far. Some of you at the moment things are not going very well. Reason being this person is not being very upfront and honest. But what's the major issue why the relationship goes through the struggle? Major issue is this person has a hard time accepting uh, that you even want them or you even are bothered about them. They have a fear of rejection. They simply get overwhelmed and then they could start acting detached. Where are things going for now? For those dealing with the fire sign, things are going to get balanced. But yes, it's not one of the smoothest relationships. Uh, I still believe with the Six of Pentacles, this person will somewhat challenge you. Okay, for most of you, I think you will find better. Uh, if you are like tired of this, I definitely see you coming, uh, coming across a water sign. Okay, so yes, that being said, do type in 777 for clarity and do like the video. Thank you. Moving to Libra dealing with Earth sign overall energy. We start off with the Four of Pentacles. I do believe strongly that at the moment you guys are choosing to play it safe. Uh, with Four of Pentacles, you guys are also waiting for some reaction of so for someone to approach you. I don't see you completely done with this person. In terms of how are they approaching you at this moment, we have Knight of Wands. The problem is this person might still come in with this uh, player-like energy, very passionate, very much desiring your presence. In terms of what is that they truly feel for you and have for you, we have two of cups. They do love you, but their fears still keep them uh, just wanting or waiting on things that they can offer. Okay, that is so far they are not quite uh, comfortable having to speak about forever. With the Knight of Wands here and the Hanged Man, this person will still take their own sweet time, which can affect you on some sense. But I do not see this person giving you a strong word about a future together. With Two of Swords, they are still very confused whether they are even a strong fit for you. If you are dealing with an Earth sign, I think with Seven of Swords, this person is very selfish. So they will only be with you if at all it benefits them. The moment it gets difficult, they will start making problems in this uh, relationship. Okay, and I feel with the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress card, the future of the relationship only depends if they have something to get from this connection. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune, it is destined, but your person is a freak. Okay, so if it benefits them, sure, this person will give in. If it doesn't, if it's difficult, they may hold back. Card of advice, we have Page of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. I think it's best for you to take this relationship slow and be as honest as possible. That being said, this is all I have for Libra versus their soulmate. Uh, if it resonated, do type in, uh, let's take 555 for changes and do like the video. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon. Yes, cheers.